him. So we leaned hard on him. We leaned real hard on God. And I know I spent a lot of nights um, over in my little hospital cot or chair or whatever was there and talking to God and saying prayers. And, you know, it was, it was a, um, there was a newness in me as far as my faith. I did a lot of praying and this Jesus calling, it was, it was so interesting to me because um, I remembered my brother Stubbs that made the shirts that Randy wore. He and his wife gave me a copy. He and Holly gave me a copy of Jesus Calling. Um, Denise and George and Luke, um, Luke's our godson, and Luke and Kennedy, they, they brought us Jesus Calling. And yeah, I, I, I shared four or five of my Jesus Callings with people, but it was just one of those things that um, it helped me get through those times because I could turn to any page in there and read something that that gave me some strength and helped me to understand that what we were going through, we weren't alone. I mean, I, I credit my mother for this more than any great thing she ever passed on to me or gave to me. She taught me to pray and know Jesus Christ when I was a, when I was little. Do not expect to be treated fairly in this life. People will say and do hurtful things to you, things that you don't deserve. God, they had to pick this one. <laughs> when someone mistreats you, try to view it as an opportunity to grow in grace. Amen. See how quickly you can forgive the one who has wounded you. Don't be concerned about setting the record straight. Yeah. Instead of obsessing, instead of obsessing about other people's opinions of you, keep your focus on me. Ultimately, it is my view of you that counts. As you concentrate on relating to me, remember that I have clothed you in my righteousness and holiness. I see you attired in these radiant garments, which I bought for you with my blood. This also is not fair. It is pure gift. When others treat you unfairly, remember that my ways with you are much better than fair. My ways are peace and love which I have poured out into your heart by my spirit. I don't know how, I don't think I could have gotten through the plane crash, uh, the divorce, all the changes in my life without the Lord because that's that rock, that's the fortress that you lean upon when things go wrong, when things go bad. I don't feel like things just happen. I think that there's a reason and a purpose for everything and God's plan. And I believe that through God, all things are possible. And I've proved a lot of that. I pray every day that God will lead me, and guide me, and direct me, and that He'll bring all the right things, all the right people into my life, take all the wrong things out. God is very patient. He's just sitting there waiting on you till you come around. He's there, you know, He's been there all the time. One of the best ways in the world to ever really get charged up is to be able to take that time in the morning. When I get up in the morning, when I open my eyes, I just say, Lord, thank you. I, I praise your name, Lord God. Some, somehow or another, some way today, Lord God, use me. Do something that, 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 that you could do through me today. Just use me, Lord. When I started reading her work I, I it all started coming you know it, it was like she had a, a telescope into my soul and these little passages were things that I mean I know that it was God's way of helping me cope with things that I had you know just built a cinder block wall and put them to rest back there but that they're still there they, they never go away and uh, until you somehow deal with it and uh, Jesus calling has been like a, my salvation and and so I 
um, I can't remember if I was gifted the book or if I went out and bought it for myself, but then I remember my mom looking at it and being like, this is perfect for your dad. There aren't a lot of words, because he famously just... <laughs> so it was per perfect. Per perfect. <laughs> per see, yes. this is perfect. And, and my wife and I, you know, try the best we can because we're on the road weekends, church usually. So we have our own little you know, devotionals like that in the morning. And that's, uh, I didn't realize she was using that book a lot of times just to read something and talk about it, start the day. Um, and we were actually on vacation. I said something in the store about, man, I, there, there was in a store. And I said, I see that little book everywhere. And I didn't even know what it was called. And uh, and she said, oh, that, yeah, I love that book. And this was almost a few years ago. And that's how it opened the door for us to use it in you know, our morning devotions and stuff. Um, it's just something that if you just, I just need a distraction for a moment, any time. You can just kind of open it up, and it's, it's, you know, a lot of times I know folks do that with the Bible. They just go, "I'm, I'm going to open it, and it's going to tell me what I need to hear." And you know, that's the great thing about Jesus calling is, is it can take you. Kinda, it's a reset, a reset for the day. And I pull out my devotional and read it for the day. And then I go to my Bible app on my phone and I always read a little bit of the passage. And it just kind of starts the whole day off on the right foot and it's something that I can kind of go back to in my mind if I come across any hurdle or difficulty throughout the day. Kind of just remember like, all right, like stay grounded. Like God's got you in his hands. What I love about Jesus Calling is that it's something that I can rely on, especially to get me back into the groove of also getting my Bible back open. So I just think it's a great tool to be used alongside the Bible. And, and I know that I've talked with people about Jesus Calling, and it's a great gift to give people to get them introduced to the Bible. Jesus Calling and then Jesus Always, I've got both of them. I don't remember who was the first one that gave me one, but there was like a, a time, must win when it just first came out. Fans were giving me that book. My friends were giving me that book. And so I'd, you know, open it up on the day and read. Now, how did that book know I needed that today? Uh, I've been a fan of, of Sarah Young's for a long time. I enjoy her inspirational writing. I enjoy the way she portrays things from, from God's point of view in her writing and how encouraging it is. Um, I remember when I first moved to Nashville, I was just looking for a daily devotional. Just to kind of jumpstart my day, I love, I kind of, the Bible can get so overwhelming to me sometimes, and I'm just like, I don't really even know where to start, so I wanted just a devotional to kind of give me scriptures each day that I could study more, and so when I found Jesus Calling, it was really awesome because, first of all, I feel like every day it hits me like I need it to hit me, and it's, it's just so crazy, like, that's how I know that each one of those um, each day is from the Lord because each day, like when she's like, today you might, you know, or it's from God's point of view, but like, you're, you're probably going to face this, but know that I'm with you and all these things. And it's like, those days, I always get faced something. But then the scriptures at the bottom, I'll always look them up in the Bible, in my Bible, and then I'll read just that whole chapter. And um, it's been giving me, it's always kind of given me kind of a, a footing into where to read in the Bible each day. In the mornings, I get up, I do my little spiritual work. I read my little Jesus Calling book, all the little things that every day, that where it's dated and everything. It means a lot to me because sometimes I think God speaks to me through that little book. Trust me and refuse to worry, for I am your strength and song. Sing it's what I'm about. He gives me the strength to sing. That's all you can ask for. Do not skimp on our time together. Resist the clamor of tasks waiting to be done. You have chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from you. 
Psalms 105 4 says, Look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always. I can really relate to to uh, her words and, and how you know it just that time with the Lord just really brings a lot of restoration, a lot of peace, a lot of strength, and uh, a lot of wisdom to me. We're supposed to live in the moment and trust God for each day and you know, everything in His Word tells us to stop worrying and don't worry, don't fear, don't all those things. And the only way we're going to do that is if we're looking beyond where we're at. So I, I've learned to, to say less and listen more and just basically say, Lord, Thy will be done. And help me not just to say that, but help me to, help me to truly mean it. And that means letting go. Letting go of whatever it is I'm worried about. Your will be done. I trust you. I was in Las Vegas doing a, doing some shows and couldn't be with the rest of my support group, so I sat alone in my hotel room, and one of the things I did was read the Jesus Calling. I actually have an app. I don't actually carry the book with me anymore. I have an app on my iPad, but, and it reminds me every morning, you know, it comes up, Jesus calls, kind of like you got a message from the Lord. <laughs> You know what it says about the faith of a mustard seed and you can move mountains. And uh, I certainly have that much faith. <laughs>